Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this one, we're gonna look at the column addition algorithm for whole number addition. So let's look at some things we should know about this one. First thing, this is a super visual algorithm. This one pairs really well with base 10 blocks. So students who are very visual or actually want to do this in a manipulative, tactile way, this one can be a good bridge. This emphasizes place value and it really shows regrouping. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. We're gonna do this one visually with base 10 blocks, adding 379 and 205. So first, just expressing 379 with blocks, we have three 100 blocks, seven 10 blocks, and nine one blocks. Now going ahead and adding in our blocks for 205, we have 200 blocks and five one blocks. Okay, so the way that this algorithm works once you've got yourself set up is you're going to start with your ones column and do any regrouping that you have. So over in that ones column, I see if I count those up that I have 14 ones pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather up 10 of them and trade them in for a 10 block. So I've got my original seven 10 blocks from above plus the one I'm trading in. That leaves me with four ones, so I'm just gonna carry those down. Now the next step would be to see if I can trade in any of my 10s. If I count up, I have eight 10 blocks, which means I don't have enough to trade in for a 100 block. So I'm just gonna go ahead and carry down my 100 blocks from above. So all five of those came down. Now that I'm done with all of my regrouping, I go ahead and grab my digits. So in the ones column, I have four. In the tens column, I have eight. And in the hundreds column, I have five. So my result for my addition is 584. Okay, so there's column addition with tens blocks. Now, let's check it out just using numbers, but carrying through the same idea. So here, instead of putting base 10 blocks in our columns, we're just gonna take the digits from each one. So in our hundreds column, we've got six plus three. In our tens column, we've got three plus eight. And in our ones column, we've got five plus nine. Now we're gonna go ahead and sum up each one of those columns. Now again, just like in the previous example, starting in the ones column, if we can, we're gonna go ahead and do a regrouping. Since I have 14 ones, I'm gonna trade in 10 of those for a tens block. So now instead of having 11, I have 12 in my tens column. Bringing down the four that I didn't trade in, there's my ones column. Okay, now I have more tens than I need. Since I have 12 in my tens column, I'm gonna go ahead and trade 10 of those in for a set of 100. So now I go from nine hundreds to ten hundreds and that leaves me with two tens left over just continuing to bring down my ones column that i already fixed now that everything has been traded in i have my result one zero two four or one thousand twenty four all right guys that has been the column addition algorithm for whole number addition to see more of these catch us in the next video